Hello, this is Andrew Pyle here for another demonstration video. Uh, before I begin, I'll just go over some background information. Once again, this video or these set of projects belongs to the Zinc series that I've been doing. The Zinc, of course, is the development platform created by Xilinx, which basically is a combination between a hardcore processor or a hardcore multicore processor and uh, FPGA fabric. And basically, for this project, the objectives are to have a bunch of processors intercommunicate and then kind of gauge how well that happens using uh, the triple timer counter. Uh, on it, of course, on the, the Zinc chip is the ARM Cortex-A9, two cores in it. I'm using both, uh, both running free RTOS once again, but in addition to that I'm also using a software processor, specifically the Microblaze, and I'll be using that to drive the OLEDs. And um, quickly going back to the the hardcore processor. One car will be driving the slice switches slash LEDs, uh, and the other car will be driving a command line interface, which is right there. It connects to the UART, and I'll be using that to kind of control the project, but I'll talk more as I go through the demonstration. But uh, once again, uh, the first core is used to drive the, the slice switches and LEDs. So basically, only a, a single thread is running, and I can, I can of, of course, you know, change LEDs and slice switches. Pretty standard. And uh, it's doing that through the the EMIO part, which is just simply connecting to the the pins that lead to the LEDs and slice switches. And uh, of course we have the the OLED. I think I made a mistake on the last I think the last video. I was using OLED and L C D interchangeably, but those are two different technologies, so that was wrong, and I won't be doing that again. But uh, that was uh, that part of the demonstration. The last part consists of basically uh, writing to the second core, and the second core is actually designed to take that information from the command line interface and then pass it to either the first core or to the microplays. And as I said before, I think the I may have misspoken, but the microblaze it drives the OLED. So on it, it, it you know uses a spy interface to connect to it and send commands. And before I forget, uh, the the library that I'm using to drive the OLED, unfortunately I couldn't really find any specific library written in C to do it. So I actually took a already written library, which was written in C++ by Adafruit, and just rewrote it in C, and it worked. Lo and behold, but. The first action that we can do here is uh, uh, just take a minute for it to focus. Okay, this part of the demonstration, we can actually invert all the LEDs at once. So there's a command. And what happens is what's going to happen after I hit enter, the the second core receives the information from the command line interface, and then sends a flag or a message through a mailbox IP through through the Zinx chips or uh, XI general purpose ports to the other core. Another core receives that information and then just inverts the LEDs. And uh, once again, I'll be more information will be on the actual website where I talk more in detail on the project. So as you can see, you know, all the LEDs invert. And uh, really quick before I move on to the last part, as you can see here, I'm actually using the triple timer counter, or TTC for short, to measure how long that action takes. And as you can see, it says 140 ticks. All that really means is there's a counter register that's incrementing, of course, and you know can count how many times it increments. Uh, for those who are interested, you know the timer, the triple timer counter, the default clock speed, I think, is 150 megahertz. You can do the math to figure out the actual time. But the, the important thing to get from this is that you know it could be done like this. And uh, finally, finally, we can post the post the message to the OLED. And right, as you can see, there's our example message. Um, slight typo, but you know it's enough to get the point across. And it takes a second for it to focus. Going back to the OLED. Any second now, and there it is. Now, hold on, let me uh, zoom in for a sec. There we go. Enter, 
and there it is. Basically, what's happening is the second car receives the message and then writes it to internal memory. And uh, this internal, when I say internal memory, I'm talking about the the memory external to the zinc chip. But there is uh, on chip memory, of course, that I could write it to instead, and then. The microblaze, it looks for our semaphore. Once it sees that semaphore is set to high, it knows this information written to memory. So it just copies that information and then uh, uses it to program the OLED. O -L -E -D. Excuse me. But um, I believe that covers it pretty much. Um, I talk more information once again on the website. Uh, nothing much more here to say, but oh, I, guess, I guess one thing to point out the project itself. At least visibly is not that involved. I do intend later down the road to do something, you know, much bigger. But right now, right now, what's uh, you know the internal stuff is the is the stuff of most concern right now. So that best concludes this video. Thanks to anybody who decided to take the time to watch it, and goodbye.